New at five, a local police department is among the first in the nation to take part in a new program. It's meant to prevent misconduct and to keep officers and families safe. Channel 11's Liz Kilmer shows us how Castle Shannon police embrace this program and why they hope other departments will follow suit. Here in Castle Shannon, the police department has always told community members, if you see something, say something. And now police officers here, they've underwent training to make sure they're following that same rule when it comes to matters among one another. We find it's going to be very valuable. I think that this is going to be the next big thing in law enforcement. Castle Shannon Police Chief Ken Truver is talking about a training program called ABLE, standing for Active Bystandership for Law Enforcement. Um, active Bystandership is simply intervening. Um, when it's appropriate to do so. It's a concept that can be applied to many fields, but can be particularly useful for police who face high risk situations and a lot of responsibility. Lisa Kurtz is the director of the program at Georgetown University, who says interest in this type of intervention training was really spurred in the wake of George Floyd's death. The idea is to empower and to authorize every law enforcement officer to intervene with their colleagues when they see potential potential harm occurring. So we encourage them to step in whenever they see a situation that is likely to end badly. That can range from misconduct to mistakes on a scene, but also training officers how to recognize when another may need some sort of help and all regardless of rank. Kurt says research shows people of all walks of life can struggle to intervene even in times when it's necessary. And this program explore, explores those reasons why you would not intervene and then um, helps us develop and train a culture in the police department where we do intervene and our officers have all been uh, trained and able um, and they're ready to ready to employ it and they embrace the concept and I'm proud of them for that. The chief says they're the first department in Western PA to complete the training, which is entirely free. Georgetown first trained someone within the police department, in Castle Shannon's case, this lieutenant, who then trains the rest of the force. The program, according to Kurtz, doesn't include ways for officers to report one another for discipline, but rather to prevent a situation that could require that. It's a program to help protect officers physical safety, their uh, mental and emotional well-being, as well as, of course, protecting the communities that they serve. And the chief hopes spreading the word about ABLE will encourage other police departments to take the training as well. He's even willing to offer up his lieutenant to help out. Back to you.